Hello and welcome to Gangte News of Gangte Radio and Television Station. Here are today's headlines. Prime Minister Van Minh Diep led a conference to discuss enhancing economic diplomacy to drive economic growth for the remainder of 2024. A conference to gather feedback and provide social critique on draft decisions proposed by the City People's Committee. The Department of Culture, Sports and Tourism of Gangta City reviewed the first six months of 2024. Top news today. On July 18, Prime Minister Pham Minh Yin led a conference with heads of Vietnamese diplomatic missions abroad to discuss enhancing economic diplomacy to drive economic growth for the remainder of 2024 and beyond. In his concluding remarks, the Prime Minister commended and acknowledged the contributions of Vietnamese diplomatic missions abroad, businesses and the public to the country's achievements. He discussed the international challenges facing Vietnam, emphasizing the need for increased effort, determination and decisive actions. He highlighted the importance of focusing on the three strategic breakthroughs, institutional reforms, infrastructure development and human resources. The Prime Minister urged prioritizing traditional growth drivers while fostering new ones. He stressed the need for innovation, science and technology to drive development. The Prime Minister also encouraged localities and businesses to strengthen connections with overseas representative agencies, enhance the quality and competitiveness of export products, and meet global development and green transformation requirements to address both intermediate and long-term challenges. The Standing Committee of the Vietnam Fallen Front Committee of Gang Thai City on July 18 held a conference to gather feedback and provide social critique on draft decisions proposed by the City People's Committee. Delegates commented on the draft decisions regulating the city's collection, transportation and treatment of medical waste. They emphasized the need for medical facilities to classify waste at the source and recommend training for handling incidents involving waste transport vehicles to prevent hazardous leaks. Regarding the draft decisions on the decentralization of the reception and handover, of urban and housing areas. Delegates requested clear stipulations on handover items from investors to districts, ensuring no acceptance of items not meeting standards. The conference also discussed the inspection and testing of pressure and lifting equipment, state management responsibilities, and decentralization of clean water infrastructure assets and asset list. Depreciation calculation times in rates for intangible fixed assets, including public service units. On July 18, Gangta City People's Committee, in collaboration with the Ministry of Science and Technology, held a scientific conference titled PII, Positioning Innovation in Gangta City Social Economic Development and Promoting Innovation in the Mekong Delta. At the event, Gangta City announced its 2023 Innovation Index PII, ranking fifth with a score of 49.66 and placing second in the country for innovation output just after Hanoi. Experts analyzed the current state of innovation in Gunther City and the Megum Delta and shared domestic and international experiences. They proposed solutions, policies, and directions to enhance the PII to support local social economic development through science, technology, and innovation. Vice Chairman Nguyen Ngoc Hea emphasized that the city aims to analyze the current state and assess the result of innovation activities based on the innovation indicators, share domestic and international experiences and social economic innovation, and on that basis, propose appropriate solutions, policies and direction for developing the PII index to support local social economic development through science, technology and innovation. The Department of Cooperative Economics and Rural Development in collaboration with the Institute of Policy and Strategy for Agricultural and Rural Development recently held an expert consultation workshop to develop a set of CGI indicators. The country currently has over 21,000 agricultural cooperatives, nearly 70% of owned cooperatives, 
Despite efforts to implement policy mechanisms, they remain inconsistent and below expectations. The CGI indicator set aims to provide information for provincial and city leaders to implement transparent environmental reforms, promoting sustainable and effective development of economic sector collectives, especially agricultural cooperatives. The CGI set includes two groups of criteria, with nine groups of component indexes and 44 indicators. Expert and cooperative representatives suggested adjustments to the structure and methods of the indicators, emphasizing the need to base them on the cooperative law 2023 and align with specific characteristics of each operative. The ministry plans to complete and pilot the CGI indicators from 2024 to 2025, with annual evaluations and announcement becoming a key task for the agriculture and rural development sector. On July 18th afternoon in Gangta City, the City Fine Arts and Wood Processing Association of Ho Chi Minh City held a discussion on utilizing scarpers, littorous shred in the production and export of handicraft products. Scarpers, littorous shred thrives in salt water, brackets water, and can tolerate flooding up to one meter. It enhances soil and water quality and provides habitat for shrimp, crabs, and fish. Currently, it is cultivated in extensive shrimp and crab farming systems across over 1 million hectares, with a productivity of 10 to 20 dry tons per hectare per year. Research on the plan began in 2000, and by 2004, it was being used for handicrafts. By 2022, products made from this plant were officially exported. At the seminar, delegates discussed the plant's potential for producing and exporting handicraft items and explore sustainable models for developing plant material sources, which could improve livelihoods in the Mekong Delta region. On the afternoon of July 18, the Department of Culture, Sports and Tourism reviewed the first six months of 2024. Mr. Winter King, Vice Chairman of the City People's Committee, chaired the conference. Over the past six months, the preservation and promotion of cultural heritage were prioritized. The city welcomed over 3.7 million visitors, achieving more than 60% of the plan, with total revenue exceeding 3,320 billion Vietnamese dong, up 10% from the same period last year. 15 city-level sports tournaments were held, involving nearly 11,000 athletes. The city sent delegations to 39 sports tournaments, winning 200 medals. Vice Chairman Nguyen Thuc Hinh emphasized the need for culture, sports and tourism sector to organize artistic activities for national holidays and anniversaries, host the National Gai Lung Festival, invest in and upgrade grassroots cultural institutions, improve management and operational efficiency, successfully organize city-level and national sports tournament, and attract investments to connect tourism products in the cities. On July 19 morning, the Association of Former Youth Volunteers of Gangta City gathered to commemorate the 74th Vietnam Youth Volunteer Day and the 77 War Invalids and Martyrs Day. Attending was Mr. Winter King, Vice Chairman of the City People's Committee. At the start of the meeting, delegates enjoyed musical performances by the city youth volunteer performing art teams celebrating the party, Uncle Ho and the youth volunteer force while reviewing their historic achievements. Initially composed of 225 members, the Youth Volunteer Force has grown to over 500,000, playing a key role in the 1950 border campaign and an embrace from Uncle Ho and General Vong Minh Yap, the four achievements and victories through two long resistance wars. Recently, the association and the city former youth volunteer liaison committees have promoted the force legacy through traditional education and propaganda and have organized visits and gifts for members in need and deserving students. On July 18 afternoon, the City Union of Friendship Organizations, the Vietnam Korea Friendship Association of the City, the Korean Asian Exchange Association, FPT Gangta University and Myeongji University from Korea hosted a cultural exchange program. This event is part of the Myeongji University Volunteers in Vietnam series. It features a range of meaningful and diverse activities, providing Gangta City students with the opportunity to experience the Korean language, culture, and people. It also introduces Korean students and visitors to the cultural and traditional richness of Vietnamese and Mekong Delta traditions, 
fostering mutual understanding and strengthening the bond of solidarity and friendship. This marks the third visit by Myeongji University's student volunteer group to Gangtur City, with this session taking place at Leben 3 Primary School, offering many engaging and educational activities. Coming up next is the weather forecast. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.